I grew up with, with comic books and Marvel was a big part of that. Doctor Strange somehow has been under the radar for a lot of people, especially in Europe. I think it was much bigger in America. Uh, and it's a product from the 60s or 70s, as far as I believe. And, and a little more crazy than some of the other things. So I got my hands on, uh, on a couple of uh, copies of a friend of mine who's, who's collected and uh, I loved it. I think that in general the, the story appealed to me and we're dealing with a, a man, you and me, uh, maybe a little brighter than us, a, a, a fantastic surgeon who has, uh, who has a touch of arrogance to him. Uh, and this arrogance is following through the ha first half of the film and something terrible happens and he has to confront front his fears and, and his beliefs. And uh, I thought that was a very, very human and brilliant way of, of describing a superhero. And let him start there and see where he goes. Well, the first encounter is uh, once Stephen Strange hits uh, the temple, uh, my character is already on his move. He's already uh, dedicated himself to the other side. So their first encounter is quite brutal, actually. We, we fight for 15 minutes the first time we meet each other. And uh, it's a situation where Doctor Strange does not have his, his powers, and he is not as skillful a fighter as the rest of us at this point, because we've been there for 20 years, he's only been there for nine months. So, uh, so he's been thrown around a lot, actually, in these very chambers we're sitting in. I think that most of us, we grew up with Marvel, right? Uh, and for us, we never really let them go. They were not a, a, a kid's thing. It was part of um, an art as well. And, and I think most of us see Marvel as a fantastic piece of art throughout the, de the, the decades they've been doing, right? Uh, so for us to be in one of the films is not only a childhood dream, it's also an adult dream, because the stories are wider than just entertaining in the sense of entertaining kids. They are dealing with big questions. You know, who am I? What is the universe? Good and evil. And, and those are, as always, some of the best stories. I think it's a perfect choice in the sense that, that the, this is a man that transformed from one thing to another. And, and Benedict uh, possesses both things. He, he can be very physical and very direct, but he can also be very intellectual. And he can also play very arrogant. And, and this character is a, is a, has a fair amount of arrogancy uh, in the beginning of the film. And I think that's perfect for the character. And his journey is obviously to figure out what uh, purpose that is serving this arrogance. He loves this film, he loves this universe. And you can simply see his face light up when something is, is uh, happening, something succeeds the way he wanted it to be, right? Uh, for him, it's, it's definitely not just a film, it is a mission. And, uh, and all the childish feelings that hopefully will come up in the audience when they watch it is coming up in him when he's sitting in his chair directing and behind the monitors.